Apple has announced an upcoming keynote, and sadly, it's not a March keynote. The keynote Apple released is WWDC 18. And this is around the time where Apple releases or announces the date that they're gonna held the whole event for WWDC. Because it, this isn't just a keynote, it's a keynote and a whole conference for developers that lasts four days from June 4th to June 8th. Last year started on June 5th, but this year it's gonna start on June 4th. And this is where I'm gonna tell you what products or what software Apple is gonna release at WWDC. WWDC 18. Last year at WWDC 17, Apple was pretty interesting with their products that they announced. First of all, they announced the HomePod coming in December, albeit later delayed, and they announced the iMac Pro coming in December, which actually turned out true. But they announced the HomePod and the iMac Pro, kind of a little teaser there, not really giving the full details, which they gave later. But Apple actually released a specific hardware product at WWDC 17, and that was the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, and 12.9. The 10.5 was the iPad with the slimmer bezels, but overall it was a nice change because it added 120 hertz refresh rate to the iPads, which were absolutely beautiful and they're just they're just so smooth. If you haven't tried one yet, you should go to an Apple store and try it for yourself because the iPads 120 hertz refresh rate, mm, they are beautiful. So the question is now that we're in 2018, what is Apple gonna release at their WWDC 18? Is there gonna be a release a new iPad? And that's turning out true. Apple is looking to refresh their iPad iPad and make it truly, truly bezel-less. Just from edge to the other edge, no bezels at all. Apple's gonna line it up with the iPhone X to make it no home button. So the software is just gonna be similar with the iPhone X, which is beautiful now. So when you go to the new iPad and your iPhone X, it's the same experience. Same swipe up to get to the home screen. And it's still gonna, of course, have the dock. And along with the new iPad, you can expect a cheaper and a refreshed MacBook Air. I'm really glad Apple is actually gonna refresh this product because it is long overdue. And many people wanna go into the Mac hardware and the software, it's just they can't because the price is too high. But let's say if you price around like a good refreshed MacBook Air for around $700, I mean, it might not be called a MacBook Air since the MacBook is already lighter than it in the past. Maybe they're gonna make it lighter. Who knows, I think they should call it a MacBook, MacBook Air, and then just call it the cheaper one, MacBook. That'll appeal to more people, but whatever, whatever. As long as Apple comes out with a cheaper MacBook Air priced around 700, 800, Many people are going to start buying that because it's a new cheaper refresh, which is I think is very important nowadays. That's it for the two rumored products. I mean, maybe they could tease a couple products here and there. Maybe the Mac Pro, maybe AirPods 2. Are they going to tease some products? I mean, as far as you know it, there's going to be a cheaper MacBook Air and a bezel-less iPad Pro. But that's as far we know right now. Maybe it's going to probably change in the future, but that's it as of right now. But along with those two products, you can expect some the freshest new hardware such as iOS 12. Mac OS, whatever, Sierra, maybe they're gonna be like super high Sierra, you know. Maybe that's gonna be the name, watchOS 5. You're gonna expect all the refreshes of the software at WWCC 18. That is to be expected along with the two maybe hardware products. If it turns out you wanna to go to WWDC 18, the tickets are selling March 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific time, remember that Pacific time, then you could get randomly selected to go to WWDC 18. It's my goal to one day to go there or Apple to invite me. Apple, can you do that for me? Yep, can you do that? It's one my day, my dream. I'm gonna make it there, but if I can't, that's okay. But one day I am. I love to hear your opinion about WWDC 18 in the comment section below. And while you're doing that, make sure you like the video and hit that bell icon to stay notified whenever I post a video. And while you're doing that, make sure you smash that subscribe button right here to stay informed. And I'll see you in the next one.